Howdy! We're group 15. And we did the side guitar duo. <laughs> For here's a bio biographical sketch. Here is a quote from the New York Times. It says, they play like twins with an ensemble that is virtually perfect and their technique is a marvel. Their background is Sergio and Robert Assad were born into a very musically cultured family in Brazil. The brothers are both Brazilian and have been playing the guitar together since a very young age. They have studied from the guitar slash lutenist Molina Tavora, who is a disciple of Andrea Segovia. Andrea Segovia is a classical guitarist regarded for his movement to, take, to make the guitar a concert instrument. They studied for seven years under Donna Venina. Now they reside in America, and Sergio is married to an astroparticle physicist at the University of Chicago. And it said whenever they were younger, they would practice together for over 10 hours a day. Um, their relevance in the music world is that they contributed to creating new music for guitars to play, so it became more popular and people wanted to listen to it during this time. They're virtuosos in classical guitar and have inspired a wide range of composers to write for them. I listen to the names right here. It says Aster, Piazzolla, Terry Riley, Radamus, Knatal, Marlos Nombre, Nepita, Koshkin, Rowan Dines, Jorge Morel, Adino Krieger, and Francisco Vignone. They've collaborated with Yo-Yo Ma and Nigel Solero Sonnenberg, as well as many others that are very popular. Um, the style of original writing is mostly Latin American and chamber music. The compositions include reworkings of classical pieces from the Baroque era and other miscellaneous pieces from across time periods. They're written for guitar, but they also have written for classical music for other well-known artists playing different instruments. Their classical repertoire includes translations of keyboard work from Bach, Uno, and Scarlatti, as well as many other more diverse pieces. I also read that um, they talked about adding folk elements within their pieces. And now they have taught master, master classes at internationally at universities, conservatories, and music schools. Sergio Assad is currently working at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. Okay, this is uh, their achievements. They're recognized by GHA and non-such labels. Um, in 2001, they won a Latin Grammy for Sergio and Odair Assad playing Piazzolo. In 2004, they won a Grammy for Obrigado Brazil, and Sergio wrote a whole bunch of uh, the music pieces on that album. In 2007, they were nominated for Best Classical Album for Jargon Ab Abandonado, and Sergio won a Latin Grammy for Tahia Li Usilina. Okay, some of their concert highlights. In 2000, they collaborated with Naja, Naja Salerno Sonnenberg, and that consisted of gypsy and folk tunes. In 2003, Sergio wrote a composition for Naja and it was performed with Seo Paulo and the St. Paul Chamber Orchestra. Uh, in 2004, they, they had a tour dedicated to three generations of their family, so it included their dad and their mom and everyone. In 2006 and 2007, they performed Concerto Madrigal for two guitars by Joaquin Rodrigo and Sergio's Four Seasons of Buenos Aires with Los Angeles Philharmonic at the Hollywood Bowl. Uh, they were featured on Duplicity, which is a movie soundtrack. In 2010 through 2012, uh, De Volta as Reyes was a project that they worked on with Christian Karam, who is a Lebanese-American singer, and Clarice Assad, pianist. That's uh, Sergio's daughter, and Jamie Haddad, <coughs> who's a percussionist.
con continued um, in, on, in February 2011, Odair performed his first solo. Uh, Sergio was nominated for two other Latin, Latin classical Grammys and Best Classical Composition for Interchange and Merikid while Odair was performing his first solo around that time. In 2001, the family joined again to tour together for favorite Brazilian works. Uh, they were featured on Yo-Yo Ma's Songs of Joy and Peace, and that became really popular and later won a Grammy. In 2012, they toured with Yo-Yo Ma and pianist Catherine Stott in North America. In 2012, they headlined for the 4th International Texan Guitar Festival. In 2013, they toured with Paquito de Rivera. 2014, they had a celebratory tour for 50 years of their career. And in 2015, the tours continued in 27 Brazilian cities. Okay, I'm going to play you the video that we chose. We'll go to the left. So the clip I chose starts at um, 1 minute and 53 seconds, and I'll, we'll just play it for you first. Where does it end? It ends at just a minute later. So um, for this clip, I chose it mainly because you can see just like the chemistry between him and his brother, which um, they just play really, really well together and um, are in time, even though they are like doing rhythms that are really complex and quick. Um, so in the second half of it, the rhythms are more complex and quick. In the first half, they're more loose with the rhythms, but they still play together um, really well. Uh, so I can show that. Um, we'll go back. <laughs> We're, we'll wait to the one minute and 53 seconds. still can play like the accompaniment and the melody alongside each other and they just hear each other they um, you can see their eyes are closed and they don't really need to look at each other to know when they're gonna keep going so that's one really good characteristic of them is that they're able to play these complex melodies and not even Probably pay attention to because it. <laughs> they had played for so long together and practiced, they don't even need to look at each other. Yeah, but anyway. Hours and days. Um, so, um, another thing you notice is that they both get the chance to play the melody, so it's not just one guy's the star. Um, but I would say maybe Sergio is a little bit more of the star. He gets to play more of the complex and loud melodies, uh, which you can see in the second half of the video. Um, and then they play a variety of music together. Um, in the first half it's more slow and they can accomplish, they just can accomplish um, a lot through just, uh, well just the different styles of music that they can do. So like the beginning it's slow and they're doing really pretty melodies together and you can still feel it, you feel the passion in the whole piece. So that's why I liked that recording.
Um, and so for a conclusion, um, the Assad brothers have displayed their exceptional skill with the guitar all throughout their lives. Um, they wrote compositions and played beautiful duos long before they were even our age. Um, and their skill didn't go unnoticed. They performed in numerous concerts with some other very successful artists and conducted multiple tours. And then all of the, um, all of the nominations, labels, and awards they received throughout their career are solid testaments to the, how remarkable they were. Um, however, their influence did not stop with success and popularity. Um, they used this popularity to promote new innovations in music. Um, in their career, they were able to expand the repertoire of classical guitar, guitar duos and proved to many that the uh, and proved to many that a guitar duo could easily tackle the classical masterpieces that came before them. Uh, the career they have made for themselves is tremendous, playing for over 50 years. That's probably why they're so comfortable playing together. Um, it gave them the opportunity to leave their mark in the world of music. Uh, according to their website, the last known tour dates of theirs were in 2017, uh, coming shortly after they had just released a new album. Sergio has taught at several institutions and still teaches today. Even though his musical performances have slowed down, they continue to have an impact on music through teaching. As far as O'Dare, he started to pursue, uh, pursue a solo career. Once Sergio began to lean towards teaching, uh, they both have seemed to go on their own paths, but still continue to meet up and play together while continuing their own endeavors. Uh, these are our member contributions. My name is Manuel. I did the conclusion. I'm Hannah. I did the video analysis. Oh, I'm Skylar. I did the biographical <laughs> sketch. I'm Hannah. I also worked on the biographical sketch and the PowerPoint organization. And I'm Dakota, and I also worked on the conclusion. Um, this is our work cited. I know we got... We use the New York Times. So there was a biography from. Mm -hmm. There is a biography from the Oxford Music Online site um, as our book source. And their official website as well. Yeah. And that's our presentation. Thank you for listening. We clap for ourselves. <laughs>